नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू अवर चैनल आई एम प्राणेश द फाउंडर ऑफ क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस एंड एन आई एस सी बैंगलोर एलिफेंस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द वेबसाइट पेपर ऑफ आई सर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट टू थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी सॉल्विंग एम सी क्यू नंबर नाइन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज कंसिडर अ वेरी लॉन्ग सिलेंडर ऑफ रेडियस ए having a uniform positive charge density rho a sphere of radius a has been carved out as shown in the figure leaving no charge in that region the distance radially outward to the cylinder as measured from the center of the sphere is x at what value of x will the electric field be maximum so we want to determine the value of x when the electric field is maximum so observe that firstly when the value of x is between 0 and a that means we are still inside the cylinder the electric field there will be zero right because there are charge distributions which are symmetric about this axis isn't it there are charge distributions which are symmetric about this particular axis which means whatever electric field contributions are going to come they will kind of nullify the effect of one another okay so we will now only be interested in determining the value of x which will be greater than a okay which will be greater than a now to get an expression uh, of electric field e in terms of the variable x or the distance x we are going to take the following approach our approach will be our approach will be as follows firstly we are going to assume that there is no sphere carved out okay we are going to assume that there is no sphere carved out so we still have that infinitely long very long cylinder of radius a having uniform positive charge density which now means that if we are lying uh, if our uh, value of x is greater than a we are out we are, we are outside the cylinder it means the cylinder can be treated as a uniform line charge correct the cylinder can be treated as a uniform line charge and the whole charge will be concentrated on this particular axis so we will now require the line charge density the expression for the line charge density can be very easily obtained because we know the uh, the value of sir uh, volume charge density that is rho okay now what is this linear charge density linear charge density is charge per unit length correct linear charge density is charge per unit length so imagine we have a cylinder of length 1 1 one unit what will be the total charge there it will be the volume charge density rho multiplied by multiplied by the volume of the cylinder which will be pi r squared into h h is 1 now but r is equal to a so it will be rho pi a squared into 1 or simply rho pi a squared and we have derived the expression for the electric field due to a uniform line charge in our very first chapter of 12th standard physics electric charges and electric fields right so what will be e1 e1 will be equal to lambda by 2 pi r epsilon not so it will be rho pi a squared upon 2 pi r is now our x epsilon not okay but we know what do we know that the sphere has already been carved out the sphere has already been carved out so we would now like to remove or subtract that electric field which whose contributor is now been removed has now been removed correct now this sphere is going to behave as a point charge for electric field calculation uh, for values which are greater than the radius correct so what will be the total charge the total charge of the sphere will be obtained by multiplying the volume charge density rho by the volume of the sphere 
so it will be 4 pi by 3 pi a q this is volume if you multiply this by rho we will get the point charge equivalent or the total charge carried by the sphere okay this has been removed now but we know that for a sphere well as i said earlier it will behave as a point charge for locations outside it so it will be q upon 4 pi epsilon naught r squared and in this case it will be x squared okay so e will effectively be e1 minus e2 we are not worried now about the direction because the symmetry will take care of the direction okay the direction will be along the line the direction of the field will be along the line okay fine so what is e1 minus e2 let us first cancel pi okay and in this case let us also cancel 4 so e1 minus e2 will be equal to rho a squared by 2x epsilon naught 2x epsilon naught minus e2 which will be rho a cubed rho a cubed by 3 epsilon naught x squared can we take rho a squared common yes we can so rho a squared and also epsilon naught so rho a squared by epsilon naught into bracket 1 upon 2x minus a remember it is rho a cube here so a upon 3 x square now to find e max okay to find e max we must take the derivative of this with respect to x and equate it to 0 now let's just forget this part because it is a constant derivative of 1 upon 2x is negative 1 upon 2x squared now what will be the derivative of 1 upon x squared it will be negative 2 upon x cubed if we equate this to 0 then what are we going to get let us send negative 1 upon 2x squared to the other side so 1 upon 2x squared will come here and on LHS now we will have 2 into a because negative into negative is positive so negative 2a upon 3x cube cancel x squared with this x cube okay so there will only be x there so what will be 3x equal to 3x equal to 4a therefore x will be equal to 4a by 3 right uh, 2a into 2 4a is equal to 3x so x is 4a by 3 so do we have that option yes that is option a now observe that they want us to determine the maximum value of electric field okay and on taking the derivative of e with respect to x you have got only one value of x so we are guaranteeing that this will be the maximum well at this location the electric field will be maximum uh, from then the field will uh, decrease as we go away from it okay so there is no need to find the second derivative of e with respect to x if we if you want you can go about doing that exercise according to second derivative test d2e by dx squared when we are interested in finding the maximum value should have a negative sign okay so i'll leave that as homework to you it should be a good mathematics exercise